Hello and welcome. Today we are doing a question from Leet Code called Merge Intervals. It's a medium. Let's get started. Given a collection of intervals, merge all overlapping intervals. Example 1, given the input 1, 3, 2, 6, 8, 10, 15, 18, we output 1, 6, 8, 10, 15, 18. So 8, 10, 15, 18 stayed as is. They don't overlap with anything, so they didn't really get merged. But 1, 3 and 2, 6, they do overlap, so we merge them into the entire range they cover, which is 1 and 6. Example 2, we have the input with start time 1 and time 4, start time 4 and time 5, so that gets merged into 1, 5, since it overlaps on the 4. So this is actually pretty straightforward. We just need to make sure we understand what it means to be an overlapping interval. So over here, we can see that B overlaps with interval A. And we know this because B start time is greater than or equal to A start time and less than or equal to A's end time. So it lies within A's range. If that wasn't the case, if A was further out, if its start time was greater than both A start time and its end time, we know that they don't overlap. So what I'm actually going to do for this is take my input and I'm going to sort it by start time. So over here, it's kind of already done for us. We have 1, 2, 8, and 15 in increase in order. What this allows us to do is say that for any interval we're on, any interval that comes after has a start time greater than or equal to our start time. So we always meet this condition. The only thing left to check would be if its start time is less than or equal to our end time, and then we know we overlap and then can merge. So if I had another interval, say, with its start time at E's end time and its end time later on, then I also had D that was over here, start time sometime after C's, end time over here, I'll say this was longer. And I had E, which had a start time over here and end time later on. So how would this look like? We see that it's already sorted by start time. A is earliest, then B, C, D, and E. Now, as we iterate through, we see that B has a start time greater than A because we've sorted it, so that's already established. And its start time is less than B's end time. So we can merge this into one interval and we'll have a new interval as so. Now this is our new merge interval. Now we move on to C and see that it also merges into our new interval. So we can merge this again into an entirely new interval with all of it together. We see that D also merges into C. Its start time is greater than C's and less than C's end time. So this also gets merged into this interval. But since C's end time is already ahead of D's, we don't really need to change anything. This can fit as is. And E's start time is after C's end time. So it doesn't overlap and would be an interval by itself. So that's the intuition behind the solution. Let's just go ahead and code this up. So if intervals is empty, we return the empty list. And I'm going to have a list called result to return my final answer. Now, the first thing I want to do is sort by start time. So intervals.sort. This is just the default function, which takes the first index to sort of all the intervals in that list. So this is going to sort by start time. And now that is done, I can go through and iterate. So for interval in intervals, intervals um, when do I add the entire interval to my output list? Well, if it's the first interval or if there's no overlap. So if result is empty or there is no overlap. So the last thing I added to result, its end time is less than my start time. So that means that interval has already ended and mine's going to start sometime after. So or result minus one, the last thing I ended to result, its end time 
So end times are indexed at 1, start times are indexed at 0. Its end time is less than my start time, so interval of 0. In this case, I add result to interval. Or in this case, I add my interval to result. So result.append interval. If that is not the case, that means there is an overlapping interval. So here, the last thing I added to result, I want to make sure has the maximum end time. It covers the entire range. So result minus 1, index at 1, its end time equals the max of whatever is my end time right now or the end time of my interval. So interval of 1. So to walk through this same example we just used here, it's already sorted by start time, so we can start in the for loop. We have an empty result. And first, result is empty, so we go ahead and append our interval 1, 3. Now we move on. Result is not empty, so now we have to check. Does the last interval I added to result, does its end time come before my start time. So my end time is after the next start time. So that means there is overlap. And now I have to see what my interval should range over. So six is greater than three. So this is going to go over from one to six. It covers one, two, three, and two, three, four, five, six. So altogether it is one, six. Now I move on to my next interval. And I see that the last thing I added to result had an end time of 6, which is less than 8. So there's no overlap here. And I add the entire thing to result. And same with 15, 18, no overlap, so I add the entire result. And as we can see, this is exactly what we were expecting. So I'm going to go ahead and run code after I return result. code, accepted and submit. And it is accepted as well. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.